Hi, I'm Alex Wolford and I want to show you how you can use StreamSets Data Collector to ingest syslog messages. And so um, let's create a new pipeline, syslog. And uh, syslog by default uh, listens UDP, so we'll have a UDP source. And by default it listens on port 514. Um, and um, just uh, for the sake of this demo, we'll uh, send this uh, to trash for now, and I'll connect these two things together. Um, I'll, to, you know, ignore any errors for now. And uh, so there's a gotcha with this. So if I hit validate, um, we should see an error in a moment. Yeah. So so this error is saying that the uh, the user that um, Streamsets data collector is running as can't bind to port 514 and it's a privileged port. Um, only root uh, users can bind to um, ports less than 1024. So it's a privileged port, can't bind to it. So there's a little workaround here. So I'm going to create a firewall rule. And um, in this case, this firewall rule is going to take any traffic, uh, UDP traffic, coming in on port 514 and send it to port 5514, which is not a privileged port. Um, so whenever we make a, a change to a firewall rule like that, um, we have to reload, dash dash, reload. And uh, so now... Um, we should be able to change this to listen on 5514 and uh, we should be able to run this pipeline without any issue. Now I'm going to try and send it a syslog message from another host here and so I'm going to pop over to my other host DeepThought and I'm going to send it a test message and we should see that come through. Yes, one message came through. Very good. So. It's not really very useful to throw things in the trash. It's kind of a pointless pipeline, but, but it would be quite useful if we could send this to Elasticsearch. So let's do that. Um, so I'm going to stop the pipeline, and then I'm going to have a different destination, which is Elasticsearch. Um, get rid of trash here. Send it to Elasticsearch. So there's a couple of uh, things I need to set here. Host name and a port. So in my case, it's elastic.walford.io port 9200. And uh, we need an index syslog and a mapping of that syslog. OK. Um, so now um, I'm going to um, create this index. Um, and I'm going to do this in Kibana here. So. And it, it has a mapping. And, and what I'm saying is the timestamp field is actually a date. And this, this is going to allow us um, to query this data um, you know, using uh, time. Um, so now we've created this index. If I was to run this pipeline, and uh, let's, um, let's query it. So we're going to go to uh, the Discover tab here. Uh, yeah, year to date, that's fine. There's no data in there. So let's send it a message and requery this. And we can see our message. So we can see all, all of the attributes, the you know, the host that it came from. So here we go, 10.0.1.10. Um, there's there's the message uh, text, the 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 date, and uh, that's it. That's the gist of uh, setting up syslog ingest, um, sending it to Elasticsearch using Streamsets Data Collector. Hope that was helpful. Thank you.